Sometimes when we hear the word prayer, we might think either, I don't know how to pray, or we might think, I just don't have time to pray. The author of 30 books, including Knowing God Through Prayer, Jim George, helps us fine tune our prayer life. Now, Jim, you know, it's very easy as a human being to just complain and complain about our circumstances or things that we're in. But I love this point that you made. Moses in the Bible prayed to God instead of complaining to others. That is a whole change of life because there are many people out there that would love to complain instead of sitting down and communicating to God about some things or struggles that they're going through. Explain the importance of that. Right. Well, poor Moses. I mean, can you imagine, you know, four million two people, at least two million, maybe more than that, uh, who were always complaining. Mm. Uh, and he spent 40 years with these complaining people. And yet, every one of those times, anytime there was a complaint, he went to God and sought God's direction uh, for these people. Uh, maybe they, they had a right to complain or they thought they had a right, but still, uh, Moses took it to God. And in fact, is it says that God was upset when the people did complain. So we need to be very careful that, that what that says is when we complain about issues and things, uh, that we're not trusting God. Uh, we cannot change others. And so there's no reason to complain to people or about people. What we need to do is take those complaints to God, as Moses did, and ask Him, first of all, to change our hearts about these people and about the issues that we see in them that cause us to complain, and then ask God to change their hearts and minds and lives as well to take care of whatever that complaint might be. It's a change in mindset. It's a change from the inside out. We would love to get this book into your hands. Knowing God Through Prayer by Jim George. A great way, again, to be able to uh, dig deeper into your own prayer life by looking at the examples of men and women throughout the Bible and how they used prayer to change their life and their situation.